Hey guys, Rain here, and today I decided we're gonna play Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey. This game came out about a week or so ago, I guess. I have played it a little bit. I bought it the day it came out, and I have played it a little bit, but I didn't really know if I wanted to record it. And I decided today, yeah, sure, why not? Um, so... This game is basically you're starting out as, you know, apes. And you have to learn and evolve into mankind. Now you don't get to go all the way to like actually like become a human, you know, mankind or whatever, you know. Uh, I don't think you can make fire yet in this game. I think they were going to expand on it, but I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not really sure. But this game is really interesting, and it does not hold your hand at all. It literally just throws you in there, and you have to figure everything out. You have to figure out what tool does what, what foods are good to eat, and what foods are bad to eat. <laughs> Here we go. This game is by the creators of Assassin's Creed. I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan, so of course I had to get this game. Try not to die. Yeah, they don't help you at all. <laughs> so pretty. This is volume one. It leads me to believe that they are going to expand the game. Run, little baby monkey. 
monkey moon. Now we are the baby monkey. Now I can either go straight to the settlement, that's it's right up there. Or I can find a hiding spot and go there. Which is what I'm gonna do. Basically, a loner monkey. Um, they're like outsiders. You can befriend them and they will join your clan. And then, once your clan is full, you will no longer find outsiders. Um, and that symbol right there is the dead monkey that just got killed by the bird. We should kill the bird. I've never tried to kill the bird when I started this game, so I should do that. We should try to kill a bird. I 
usually keep the babies two on each monkey or whatever. You can have up to six babies at a time. You're single. Single. Let's bond. And then once you bond them and form a couple, we can and make little monkey babies! I'll watch this one time so y'all can see it. And then after this I'm gonna skip these scenes. Because these scenes really do get annoying <laughs> watching them over and over again. brother and sister because usually when you breed you'll get two babies and you'll, you'll get one male one female a brother and sister and if you breed a brother and sister with another brother and sister from another family or whatever then you'll have the second the third or the third set of brother and sister who won't be able to breed because they cannot breed together you cannot do this so you have to be very careful of who you pair who with Two babies. Uh, four babies. Yeah, four babies. Okay, so now let's start learning. I've only been like in the jungle and woodland area, I believe. I I haven't really I had I made it on the outskirts of the savannah, but I've never been to the savannah. So that's gonna be something new <laughs> for me. I did like a quick little run through trying to learn about the game or whatever and yeah. Um let's drop that. Oh, there, we're learning things. Build them. Awesome. Who is fronting? Okay. I 
believe I'm not really sure how like how the food thing works, but I believe if you eat like more than more than four of one item, it makes you sick or poisons you, which I find kind of dumb. But okay. <laughs> There it is, the obsidian. Um, I know when we actually like learn to kill things and whatnot, we will be able to eat the meat and it is going to make us sick at first because we gotta learn to be omnivores. There is a plant around here that um, allows you to be a little bit warm from the cold. Okay. Ah, oh, let me fail. <laughs> I'm stuck. There we go. I believe there's a plant up here that I don't know. I never noticed that before. There's a beehive. I have eaten honey before. I didn't notice there was a beehive here in this location. I have eaten the honey before, but I haven't. I know you can like rub it on yourself, I think. And I'm not sure what it does. Here it is the plant. This plant. If you eat it, it'll give you some protection from the cold. And if you. I think you can grind it, it'll make like a paste or something. You can rub it on. Or you can eat it, and it gives you like a full thing of protection from the cold. Yeah. A little bit of protection from the cold. Oh. I think um, I think all the monkeys went up there to get some. Use your senses a little bit here. Just try to figure out what things are. <laughs> sense of hearing. So we can hear that monkey in the tree over there. We need to go help him in a little bit once we learn some more things here. Oh, okay. Uh, we can go learn what a tree branch is. I can't really, I can't alter things just yet because I need to learn how to switch hands. Hmm. We are learning everything, whatever thing is around here. Um, I think there's, I think there's basalt up there. Basalt is another rock that we can use. Um, I don't- I can't really do anything with the thorn bushes just yet. I like- I can't- it's slow- like, when I- when I go on my senses, it's like showing, you know, the dark energy around them or whatever, whatever. I can't inspect them, though, until I learn how to carry things with two hands. This is basalt, I believe. Uh, 
Um, but the thorn bushes, you can, once you learn how to carry things, while, uh, you can like walk on two legs or learn how to carry things with both hands. Um, you can then use thorn bushes to make barriers and you know, to protect your friend. Put that basalt right there. Boom, I didn't make some speck of water. I haven't done that yet. Fresh water source. I believe the like uh, swampy areas, I, I, that's like stagnant water, so it's not safe to drink. It makes you sick. Pretty much, yes, the monkeys will, they will copy everything that I do. If I'm drinking, they will drink water. If I'm eating something, they will go and eat that object. They won't, um, mimic, um, me doing any task, though, like, picking up this rock. They won't do that until I learn the mimic ability where I can ask them to pick up stuff or whatever. Um, you're supposed to be able to get them to alter things, but I've never been able to do that. I can get them to like pick things up and I can get them to uh, switch hands and alter like a tree branch to make it like a stick instead of a tree branch and then after that they won't like sharpen it. I can, I can give them a rock and they won't sharpen the stick to make a spear. You're supposed to be able to do it, but I don't know. But okay, let's um let's lay down. Have we unlocked anything? The ability to switch hands. This is what we need. Now we can start altering things. The ability to gather all clan members. Okay, so that will make my, all my clan members follow, follow me. Alright. Now we can learn to alter things. Let's grab this. No, not the rock. Tree branch. Switch hands. hear that audio cue and alter things. This game is like, it revolves around audio cues. You have to like listen for the audio cues. That's why it's good to play with headphones. Um, right now this game is only available on PC through the Epic Games Store. It should be available on Steam next year, I believe. Um, and it will be available for uh, PS4 and Xbox One in December this year. So now we can alter things. Um, let's see, we can... I have to be very careful with that basalt. We can put the stick down now. Grab this rock. Switch hands. Nope, not that rock. The basalt rock. Switch hands. You have to be very careful doing the salt because it breaks really easy right now. Yeah, see, you have to be very careful with it. You have to you really have to pay attention to the audio cues. If you hold it just a second longer, then it breaks it. So now we gotta go get more basalt. I hear that. if y'all hear it, but there's that kind of like a faint humming noise. It's because there's an emerald. There's an emerald up there. We'll go get it in a minute. And this, switch hands. Try this again. We really gotta listen for the audio cues.
There we go. We did it. <laughs> when I first played this game, I didn't really use Basalt because I didn't really know what it did because every time I tried to use it, it would just break. So, yeah. You really gotta learn how to do it. So now we have a Basalt Chopper. We're okay. <laughs> Put that down. Now we can grab another granite. Granite doesn't break as easily. And now you get a granite grinder. Yeah. So let's put this granite back. Take up the chopper and let's bring this over here. Keep my tools over here. And I can grab obsidian. Oh, nice obsidian. That's all right. Now we get an obsidian scraper, I believe. Me. My mom, my mom. <laughs> okay, so now we have an obsidian scraper, the basalt chopper, and the granite grinder. Um, it's nighttime, so we should go to sleep. So we'll still all be tired. Otters. I have yet to come across the otters, so... But I hear that you cannot attack them, I think? I'm not sure. I don't think you can attack them. So they're like really dangerous. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay away from otters. Um, get some food. I hey yeah okay. So say let's grab one more of those before they eat them all because uh, we can alter them. Let me get this stuff. Now this stuff, uh, if you're bleeding, you don't have to be bleeding to use it. But if you're if you've been attacked and you're bleeding, you can apply this stuff on you, rub it all over your body, and it'll stop you from bleeding. Or we can no, not the basalt chopper, the granite grinder. You can grind it into a paste. And now I have full protection from bleeding. So if I get attacked, I will be okay. Um, let's see. Oh, let's, uh, I'm gonna treat my hands. Now I need my basalt chopper. And now I have made a spear. Sharp stick.
<laughs> oh, right here then. And I believe there is a... No, I don't want it. There's a fish in the spot over there. Okay. You can only fish with sharpened sticks. It doesn't work with uh, just a regular stripped tree branch. Oh, no, I failed. I got a fish. Probably gonna make me sick, but okay. Yeah. We're still learning to become omnivores. Just gave me a little bit of an upset stomach, but that's okay. Then all you gotta do is just drink water and then it'll go down. Get rid of her upset stomach. Eat some berries. Um, let's go get that obsidian. Or not obsidian, but the emerald up here. I know there's an emerald up here. What's this thing? types of precious stones that you can find, though I don't know what they're used for. I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't I think they're just like little things that you can find. <laughs> I don't really know what else they're used for. Ah! Okay, there we go. We actually, I should actually be, um, um, what's causing us to be so low on energy? Are we hungry? Actually should be instead of jumping over the water, I should start like walking through it because that will help teach you how to walk upright. It does use a lot more energy though. Okay. Um, what else do we need to do? Oh, we need to get a cocoa. Oh. So there are cocos in the tree. Uh, I can shake the tree and knock them all down. But I'll just go eat and grab two of them. Oh, yeah. There's 
two ways you can eat a cocoa. It does for snake bites. I'm not sure if it helps with snake bites. I know snails help with snake bites. There's there's uh, giant African snails uh, that you can find. They they cure snake bites. But now we can drink this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It does. It, yeah. It cures snake bites and poison. So you can either do that. That gives you a little bit of a protection. open with a rock. This is a good source of food too. I actually don't like coconut. <laughs> I do not like coconut. Yucky. Yeah. you can I haven't tried to like grind up like once you get the coconut open all the way like that I haven't tried to like grind it up so I don't know if that does anything so, I think we're gonna, we're gonna lay down look at our evolution see if we've unlocked anything we have well, it's connected to the ability to transfer an item to the other hand while moving with the fossil token. Yes, please. Once again, it'll be possible to drop an item while moving. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Now let's go figure out what this uh, other monkey wants over here. Hello, monkey. What ails you? Are you hungry? Food, or if that's uh, the fibers that you can have your bleeding with. Um, that is the fibers that you can have your bleeding with. Why is it not letting me grab it? It's weird. I don't understand why it's not letting me grab it. There, oh, there it goes. This is just something that will also cure bleeding, just like the horsetail. There's food right there. Okay. Oi. Still learning how to swing from trees and things. Inspect this. Let's switch hands so I don't accidentally eat it. I just want to give it to the monkey up here. I think he's hungry. I think that's what it is. Do you want food? And you are a female, so then we just need to find a male. That's where that dead monkey is. Um, okay. Well, let's take this monkey back to the clan. And we welcome her to the van. Now I believe I can find one more outsider. A male. I don't think I have it's an elder. You're a couple of You're an elder. So yeah, I think I can find one more outsider, and it will usually be a male. 
I could try to go take on the eagle if I wanted to. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that though. <laughs> I have taken on the saber tooth cats and whatnot, but I haven't taken on an eagle yet. <laughs> it's usually not too far out in the starting area. The monkeys are usually easy to find. Upgrading our senses. There he is. No, not that. The monkey. Let's go see what ails this monkey. Ooh. What is your problem? Um, okay. I know exactly what he wants. But first, I'm going to discover this. Twin arches, or the sister arches, or whatever. This is where I got attacked by a snake. No, I think I know what this monkey wants. I need to find um, the cold tolerant trees. The tree with the red leaves or whatever. This is what you want. Yeah. Yep. 
Yay! We have a new clan member. Okay. Right. I did want to grab some of this stuff on my way back. So. Just want to grab some to take on. So I want to grind it up with a grinder and that. Oh, you can't do I'm stuck. Where's he at? Is he following me? Oh, oh, oh. Where's he at? Who's down there? Why are you down there? I've learned to not really pay attention to them when you when you have your clan following. Don't pay attention to them. They they follow. It doesn't matter like if you're crossing a river, if they fall in the river, it if you, as long as you just keep going, it will like teleport them to find you. <laughs> like if you fall in the river and it's too deep, and you will get washed away, not unless you can like hurry up and get out somehow. But I usually I don't pay attention to my clan unless they're being attacked. Did he get hurt? He's hurt. How did he get hurt? Did you fall out of the damn tree? You did. You dumbass. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna put my stick down. Can you... Is this the grinder? Was full protection from the cold, yeah. Um, alright, dude, you're hurting. I should have helped us. No, I don't want to rename him. Eating horsetail will help heal broken bones. But alright, let's end the expedition. Now we have a new mail. Welcome to the clan. Make babies. Six babies, that's as many babies as we can have. And we'll pretty much have a full clan now. 
I think you have 18 phone numbers to be told. Um, let's see. What do we want to do now? Um, Of odors and sounds is slightly increased. Sweet. Interest of not edible resources is increased. Sweet. Can't unlock anything else. <laughs> Alright. No, it's almost night time, so let's go ahead and sleep. <laughs> Okay, that's the inside of a monkey's face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's cool. Now we have a stick. Let's go poke it in the head. Oh, it gives us some bleeding too. Cool. Okay, awesome. the babies. I don't want to go to the birth of the babies. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Should I take the babies or not? I really don't want to risk losing the babies. Um, cause, I mean, we've already bred. Um, actually I'm going to use one of the elders. I ain't worried about losing the elders. Come here, elder. They're going to die anyway. Oh, oh. Oh, 
Try to kill a bird. <laughs> I've never gone after the bird before, so this can be interesting. Um, oh, I know. Apparently, if you go. If you go sit in the nest and wait, the bird will come. Let me rest right here a minute. Oh, there's eggs over here too. I hear it. I hear it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my stick broke. Darn it. I attacked it, but my stick broke. I don't know if it'll come back. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Where you at? I don't know if it's gonna ever come back. At least, like, anytime soon. So, let's just go. Rest for a minute. That's what sucks about using the elders in this third week. Things will kill them pretty quickly. But I know um, 
when you get into like areas that you've never been to before, uh, if you if you're using one of the adults, like the regular adults, not the elders, um, you'll be feared. You'll get like a whole bunch of fear or whatever, and you have to overcome that fear, and it gets annoying sometimes. But if you use an elder, you don't have to do that. They don't fear anything. But I don't really use the elders. I like. I like doing the fears. It's annoying, but I like doing it because you get more experience from doing it. Well, I'm gonna try to... Learning! Take this eagle down, damn it. This is like an Assassin's Creed type game, the way they stand. No, I don't want to throw my stick. I was going to throw the egg. What? <laughs> mm. <laughs> destroy all your babies. Mm. What? Your babies go bye bye. killed my ancestor. And it's called Great. Oh, 
start making a bunch of spears. Pick up, pick up the branch. Pick up the branch. Thank you. Now since we can, uh, what this stuff is, we learn these things and then we go over here and we have six reinforcement points. And in order to keep these things, we have to use the reinforcement points to lock them in. You get reinforcement points from the babies. Every For every baby you get, you get one reinforcement point. And I think you also get extra for uh, finding meteors, which we will get to in a little bit. Um... So, I usually wait until I learn like six, th six things or whatever and then I lock them in. Whatever. Lock them in and then... I, I can't do it right now because it doesn't sh it's not showing up right now because I'm an elder. I have to be playing as an adult. Um, um, but once I lock those in, as long as I'm an adult or whatever, and as long as we have one kid, which you know, obviously you gotta have kids to do this. Um, then you can skip to the next generation, which means, um, which means all the elders will die off, all the adults will become elders, and all the babies will become adults. But we're not gonna do that just yet. I like to wait until I get at least six things that I can lock in, so that way I can use all my reinforcements. If you don't... If you get more than six things, like more than six of these, if you learn more than six items where you can only lock in six, then you just gotta relearn it again in the next generation. So that sucks. It's annoying, but yeah, whatever. So if I don't lock if I don't lock this in with the reinforcement points, then I would lose it and I'd have to relearn it with the next generation. Stupid. Okay. Um, we're gonna sleep. Now, um, I, I have found uh, the meteors, uh, one meteor before. Um, I can't remember which meteor it was. I think it was like the meteor over the cave or somewhere under the cave. I'm not really sure which one it was. It was close to the savannah, but, um, yeah, I found that meteor, but I know there is a meteor over here, when you, when we discover this location, it'll show a meteor fly across the sky and land somewhere out there, and we have to go find it, we have to follow the smoke. I have never found it. I went looking for it before, and I could not find it. Like, no matter what I did, I could not find it. I know if you skip a generation or evolve, then the meteor will go away and you can't get it no more. So I try to find the meteors before I skip generations. Oh. 
We're just gonna start arming everybody with spears. Well, um, I don't know if I want to start arming everybody with spears. They can't really defend themselves just yet. I don't know. I might not start arming them with spears just yet because they cannot defend themselves. Oh my god, really? Okay. Um, yeah, give me that. Get. Mm. Mm. I don't want to trade items. I want. No, I don't want to lay down. I want to take his spear maker. Yeah, they can't really defend themselves until I learn. Until they learn that I have to learn it or whatever. <laughs> Make spears for the time being. <laughs> Stockpile things. Um. And I won't necessarily lose things uh, when I evolve or skip generations. Um. When you skip generations, you'll stay where you are. You won't, it like won't, it won't move you anywhere. Um. Whoops. And all your stuff will stay there. Every, unless, unless you're holding on to it. If you have like a spear or a rock or something in your hand and you skip a generation, then you'll lose that item. Um, but if you leave it on the ground somewhere and skip a gener generation, it'll still be there. And if you evolve, um, I'm I'm not sure how the evolve works. I believe that every time I evolved, it has moved me to a different location. It changes your location. Um, but if you go back to your original base, like if you know where you are or whatever, and you can make your way back over to your original base, then your stuff will still be there. Which is okay. Good. So, um, what was I doing? I wanted to start stocking up on stuff. Yeah. horse tail before they eat it all. We can stock up on that, make a pile of that. Because that's good for stuff. Like healing wounds. Oh my gosh, why is everybody suddenly texting me today? I didn't, I forgot to answer my mother-in-law, and so I think she texted my husband, and then my husband texted me like, are well, you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm recording for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, is there anyone else on? No song. I just wanna... Sometimes make little stockpiles of things. 
You have no berries. Oh my gosh. I'm not making stuff out of berries, but I just... I want to get some berries in here. Because it sounds like my queen is hungry. Yep, y'all go eat. Drink some water. Go away. <laughs> it keeps asking me to buy this wooden zip folder opener type thing, and I'm not going to do it. Um, Alright, so we got a pile of that stuff going. Got a pile of spears. I did. I'm not sure if y'all can hear my puppy. My puppy's in there whining. She wants out of her cage. Um, I wanted to take a stick. Go over here. Mushrooms. Now, uh, these are, they're okay to eat, but they will give you an upset stomach, I think. You can eat them. Yeah, I think, I think if you eat them. So they give you, like, they're good against poisoning, but they will give you upset stomach. and carry an item with both hands, you can then make piles of stuff and carry it back to camp. Okay. Hang around. 
Where are you on right here still? You don't need to be hanging around out here. Hold on. Get your buds back in here. And everybody else. So we have everybody in here. Okay, we have 14 clan members right now. Usually, once we skip a generation, we'll have four el- No, we should have- We should have six elders, I think, right? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think, I think, right? Right now we have, right now we have two elders. Um, like, yeah, right now I think we have two elders. There should be one, two, three. Four, yeah, there should be six elders, six adults, and then we'll have six babies. So you should have like a total of like 18. Okay, I'm not too sure what I want to do just yet. And... Oh, I didn't want to. I'm trying to. Don't know what those are yet. The little rock. Oh, my God. 
So I could skip a generation now, lock those in, why not? Um, or I could do, we could discover this location, trigger the meteor thing, and um, go find the meteorite and just continue learning more things now with this generation or we can just skip the generation then do the meteorite and I think that's what I want to do I think I want to skip a generation then do the meteorite because we'll have full members at that point um, but yeah but I think this is where I'm going to end with this episode so thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all next time Bye-bye!